Oh, hey, Paul. Yeah, I'm just laying in bed reading this November 2020 CFP journal. There's lots of great articles in here about shoulder pain, about knee pain in runners, and about knee pain in children. Actually, Simon, why be so sedentary? Why don't we go outside and go for a run? That is a great idea. Yeah, let me just get out of bed. Ah! 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 Oh, dear. I've suffered a running injury. Simon, you can't call that a running injury. You haven't even gone outside for a run. And what is that? Is your ear bleeding? I need you to say that again. I, I can't hear you. Oh. oh my God. That is a red flag for hearing loss. Hearing loss after trauma. It's in this month's November CFP journal. Wow, that's amazing. If, if I could hear you, I would ask, what are the other red flags? Sudden hearing loss and unilateral hearing loss with focal neurological signs. Simon, can you stand up? Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, my shoulder's aching too. Oh my gosh. I need to get a PRP injection for my shoulder pain. That's been totally debunked, Simon. Yeah, I guess I did fall out of a bunk bed, so I have been debunked. No, a November 2020 CFP article illustrated that platelet-rich plasma injections for rotator cuff pain is no better than dry needling or placebo. Okay, well, I guess I'll just get some placebo injections instead then. Does anything else hurt? My knee too, but that's that's chronic. You know, it's, it's 2020. I've been doing a lot of running. I've been running out of toilet paper. I've been running out of patience because of social distancing. And running out of jokes. Anyways, all of this running is giving me knee osteoarthritis. Simon, you're running low on facts today. I think you're gonna get debunked again. Recreational running is actually protective for OA. It's only in elite athletes where it's a concern. So you have nothing to worry about. Hey, that's so interesting. I've been trying to get my son into running, but he's been complaining about joint pain. Hey, maybe you can take a look. I've got a better idea. Let's call a good friend of ours, Tommy Gershman, a pediatric rheumatologist who deals with sports medicine and kids' knees. Let's get him in on the line. Hey, Felix, hey, come over here, buddy. Let's let's show him show him the knee that you've been having uh, trouble with. Okay, so show them what knee's hurting. Is it is it this one over here? No, it's that one. Oh, this one here with the with the lime on it. Okay. Well, the differential for a swollen knee in a kid could include septic arthritis, acute reactive arthritis, juvenile idiopathic arthritis. But that looks like Lyme disease. Any target lesions? Does he have a rash? Does he have a rash? Let me check. Does he, do you have a rash? Yeah, looks like a rash. Slam dunk diagnosis. Start him on Doxy. Thank you so much, Tommy, and thank you so much, Paul. That's it for the November 2020 CFP Distill. That's it. It was great talking to you again, Simon. Thanks to Tom. Sign up at cfpdistill.com to get our monthly summaries and get access to our vital FM update promo code for all of our events coming up in 2021.